And now I'm going to take you upstairs and show you. I've been for the last like probably, I don't know, two hours cleaning out the spare room because I finally am getting my wardrobe delivered from IKEA tomorrow. So this is the state that it's in at the moment. <laughs> Lovely. And that's it. Um, this section was full of stuff as well. But that's what we've got done at the moment. I'm hanging up loads of stuff on this for now until it comes tomorrow so we can just move them into the wardrobe and then there's stuff that I have to send back when some return some other returns and then um penny saw that I have to do and then that's con stuff he needs to go through and yeah they're like coats and stuff so I don't know I'm hoping I'll fit them in my wardrobe when it gets here but I don't even really know <laughs> so I might just leave them in there for now or I might hang them up I don't know I think I'll use it to keep my loud stuff on so I can just grab them and I want to wear them or whatever I need them. Um, yeah. Or maybe I'll just use it to for plan. I don't really know. I'll see how I get on. Um, I don't know where to store all my bags. Like, And I've got literally a box of them at my mum and dad's that I still need to go through. So that's just absolutely perfect, isn't it? Like, I don't know what to do with them. Like, how do you display? Like, I don't even need them displayed. I just need them somewhere neatly and that they look nice. I'm thinking about getting shelves anyway to put some shoes and some bags, just nice ones on. I don't even really have any like nice bags, like they're all just cheap. I don't have like ex like many really expensive ones or anything and I'm not that precious about them. But um, I have some shoes and stuff that I could do and I just think it would be nice. But then I have a lot of shoes and stuff and bags that I want not really on show. So if anyone has any ideas for like storage for shoes and bags, that would be absolutely great. Please let, please let me know because... Um, I really, really need to figure that out. Like, I've got way too many pairs of shoes and just runners, like, bulky stuff. But I definitely, like, I wear them all, do you get me? Like, and I've got summer ones and stuff there that, like, I'll be needing now. So I've got them out. But it's so hard. Like, how does everyone store their stuff? <laughs> I'm quite confused because I stored everything under my bed at home. Like, <laughs> I just fucked all my shoes and bags and shit under. But it was such a nightmare if I wanted anything. And yeah, this is a whole bag of clothes from my wardrobe at home that I need to go through. The wardrobe was basically still full at home. This is just like one fucking bag. The rest of it's, it's pretty much still full. A lot of it I can probably get rid of or sell on Depop, but like it just is so time consuming to go through it. If you're putting it on Depop, it's even more time consuming. And then you also have to still store it somewhere until it's sold and you get to package it and bring it to the post office. So it's a lot um but I'll probably give it away I I mean I did give a lot away I went through my wardrobe before I moved and then I filled these drawers with stuff that I'd already gone through and then I went through them again and got rid of more stuff just gave them like to charity or whatever um so yeah it's a lot like I'm literally just packing this with all my gym stuff and cycle shorts for now and I'm hoping I'll put them on a shelf in my wardrobe when it gets here and these are packed they're full to the brim like that's how the last one broke because it was just too full and it was jeans and they pushed the piece of wood and it broke so I'm hoping I can fix that or else maybe Colin will do that and then um I'll put these on the drawers as well one on each drawer we've ordered black ones for the ones in our bedroom Con has his stuff in them and actually I literally got half of my stuff in them as well it's like he has two drawers and I have two drawers of his drawers but he has a wardrobe in there and I've got like I've got like four things in it just for now but I will be putting them in my wardrobe oh my god I could do with double the wardrobe that I've ordered but I'm gonna just see how I get on with the one that I have I don't need all the shit that I have like I need to just go through it and stop being such a hoarder but then this is also a lot of loud stuff and this has gone down a lot because obviously you've selling stuff but um yeah it's very it's just I don't know what to do with it like I just can't I can't it's like a lot of it there's like not even a solution for it you get me that's why I'm like really stressing out now that I'm cleaning because I have nothing I have nowhere to actually put it so I feel like I'm just moving it from like here to there do you know what I mean so yeah but it really does just need a clean and stuff in here as well like it's just dusty and whatever you know I like oh I don't know how dust gathers so quickly like I could hoover and then I could hoover again honestly an hour later <laughs> no but seriously I could genuinely hoover the house every day from top to bottom because it just gathers everywhere but anyway yeah 
it's a lovely day out as well. You can see the sea from here, it's so nice. And there is our new fences. And then we need to we need to put our furniture back down there and stuff. We're gonna get a little deck at the end. Oh, I can't wait guys until the garden's finished, it's gonna be so nice, but it's a long it's got a long way to go at the moment. Um and Connor's trying to fix this vent. They had it like covered up, but this room gets so hot and obviously you can open the window, but it really gets really, really warm. Like we haven't had the heating on for a long time now because it's been nice, but when you do have it on this room is like a sauna. So I feel like the vent is meant to be used, but it has this weird like silver thing in it, like metal thing. So Con's gone to his friend who he thinks will have a like tool that he can use to move it and then put the like normal vent on it. So yeah, that's what he's working on at the moment. Um so yeah, but I get back to this and I will show you when I'm done, hopefully. It looks a lot better. Even all hair just needs like a sort out or clean, you know. I just I'm always like doing my makeup or my hair in a rush and then everything's left out and then it builds up. Do you get me? It's not that bad, but it only needs like a clean look at the dust on that, like and it hasn't been long, like I clean quite a lot. Okay, it's hundred and fifty five times neater. It's not perfect, but Tomorrow, hopefully, but with the wardrobe, it will be a lot better. These are actually all bags of shoes. So I really need to fucking sort that out. And I got rid of like a full black bag full of shoes. So it's a real issue. So yeah. It's the best we can do for now. This was like covered and stuff as well. So honestly, it is a lot better. It's taken me like literally hours, but also got rid of the piece of like carpet that we were using as a rug in here. It just looks shoe, but I like that. We'll just get a proper, a nice rug, you know. My new chair still hasn't come either. I actually asked if I could get a refund because I found another one that I think I prefer and that one's taking way too long. So yeah, we'll see. Um, So yeah, I'm gonna have to move them to get the wardrobe in though, see anything. Mm. I don't know. I just sort it in the morning. I still have stuff in my room to sort out as well. Like, oh, this rail is full. And I just realised I haven't got any more hangers. So, love that for me. Um, <laughs> we'll be putting this in there as well when it's a bit less busy. Um, and yeah, these are the call stuff. They're more stuff to go in the wardrobe, and so are they. So. I'm just gonna put them in a bag or put, throw them in there now so that I can put them in. And yeah, that's it really. I have Connor's birthday present hidden down there because they were hidden in the other room, but then he was helping me clear it out and I was like, he's gonna see them. Um, they're only like small bits though because he knows what I like actually got them, but obviously I got them like small bits as a bit of a surprise as well. These are true 30. Um, that's the kind of stuff that I think he's gone to, but I don't know where he's putting it. Yeah, that's it really. My ring light's also from the other room. Just don't have enough space for all my shit. <laughs> so I have a few bits to show you guys that I've got recently and wanted to show you. So the first thing is Green Hearts CBD. When they reached out I was so excited because I've wanted to try CBD oil for oil for ages because I definitely like suffer from anxiety and I never really slept that well but recently it's gotten worse and I get so annoyed when I can't go to sleep. And honestly, it happened one night that I literally stayed up until like 6 a.m. Like I didn't, I literally didn't really sleep at all. Um, so yeah, sorry, excuse the state, but I've been using these. So I'll show you which oils there are. So they're all CBD oil. Um, but they're just, you can see different oils that are in if you get me um so some of them are they have different benefits or whatever um i will show you so there's hemp seed blend flaxseed blend and bird seed blend and yeah they all have cbd in them. i like literally i have to read this to get my head around that and of course they do but i don't know it just i got a confused so um there is the hemp seed blend and we get nine fatty acids vitamins minerals um, it's high fiber, low sugar, great for your digestive tract. Um, flaxseed blend, a rich source of healthy fat, antioxidants, and fiber. The seed contains protein, lignans, and the essential fatty acid, alpha linolenic acid, also known as ALA or omega 3. 
um, and then rapeseed is probably I think the one that I'd end up going for um, my favourite I think that's the one that I used first and it's already gone yeah I did it's pretty much gone already because me and Con have been using it for the last week I'd say um, rapeseed blend measured up against other oils rapeseed oil is has the least levels of saturated fat in fact it has half the amount of saturated fat than olive oil olive oil oil oh my god oil oil <laughs> such a like i don't know weird word to say especially with olive in front of it um also rapeseed oil is loaded with vitamin e which is good for your eyes skin and hair which i really need like my eyes i'm so blind and they're always so strained and um, but they've definitely got way better actually i've been using that one for like a week and honestly i'm sleeping 20 times better which makes such a difference my eyes used to be constantly paining me like strained like muscular pain in them kind of especially by like the afternoon and evening and they're definitely a lot better only that i'm reading that again i'm like they're so much better um skin hair i also really need especially hair i've actually got no hair um as well as immune system which of course is so important um so then here it says CBD can help treat stress, stress, anxiety, pain, depression, and insomnia. And then there is CBD versus, versus THC, which I didn't actually really understand that much. I kind of just thought they were like basically the same thing. Um, so CBD allows the use of the natural plant benefits without affecting people's functionality. Um, hmm. Ooh, they have a cosmetics range. CBD infused popcorn? CBD infused protein powder, wow, <laughs> unreal. Um, and yeah, they're a nice company, so I'm really, really happy to work with them. And they've also really kindly given me a discount code if you want to try it out. So the code is Emma Doyle twenty, and it gives you twenty percent off. So yeah, so nice. Their packaging is really cute as well. I really like it. Con's obsessed with it. He was like, wow, I love it. He was so intrigued. So anyway, yeah, we've been taking this every night and every morning. So just before bed, like 15 minutes before, and I literally sleep like a baby. <laughs> and um, then we take it in the morning just before we go to the gym. Definitely perks you up a little bit. Um, and then, yeah, it's great. It's definitely great. And I'm definitely going to keep going with it. So I think we're using, we're going to go on to the hemp seed next or is that the one that we've already used oh no sorry i've used them both so we started with hemp seed i think con chose that one and then we went on to rape seed i think we started like today we've tried them all though and they all like pretty much taste the same you just like literally it's just a dropper and you just do one drop underneath your tongue and then like i just have a glass of water or whatever but it's grand like it's bare but it's not like you're like dying for your glass of water like it's kind of tastes like that like it tastes like kind of like pine nuts like kind of like i don't know it's like a it's like pesto kind of but it's different but like in an oil you know it's yeah it's fine like it's absolutely grand it's not disgusting or anything it's not gorgeous like i wouldn't <laughs> i wouldn't look forward to it but like it's fine and um, so yeah that's it thank you so much to green heart cbd i'm so happy i'm gonna repurchase so then I also got glasses from the glasses shop. Now I got two pairs. Lost one in the sea because I got in and I forgot that I had them on. Then I was like, oh, it's grand. I'm not even going to get my hair wet. Like, they won't, they'll be fine. I'm just going to, like, dip, you know? And then a massive wave came and knocked them off me. So I've only got this one pair to show you. But I love these. I've been wearing these 24-7. Although I did really, really like the other ones. I think I preferred them. The other ones were the style Manhattan. I'll insert a picture here and they're so nice. But yeah, anyway, these are really nice. And I also got blue light on them and their prescription because I'm as blind as a bat. Um, and then, yeah, these are just the boxes that they came in, really. Because I don't have any glasses to show you, but <laughs> yeah, that's them. Would recommend 10 out of 10. Such good prices for glasses. I just robbed my prescription from Specsavers. You don't have to do that. You can just ask them for it. I asked for it before and then I lost it. And then the last time I went to get my eyes tested, it was written down when I was like trying on my glasses and she went off somewhere, he went off somewhere and then I just took a picture of the sheet and it had all the stuff I needed on it so <laughs> that's what I did. And then next I got these gorgeous masks, I think there's another one or two that are in the wash but 
Um, these are from CM Designs and they're just so nice. They're handmade, they come with these little fasteners. I hope I'm saying that right. But I love the prints. And there's so many other ones to choose from. They're so nice as well. Like the inside is like that. That one's pink. And that one's that colour. And that one's white. So yeah. I'm sure you can reverse them as well actually. I don't know if this bit will work. But I say you probably could. But anyway. They're so cute. And the last thing that I have to show you. I don't think I've shown you this. But I well, I hope I haven't. Um, so vegan tan. I'm so excited for so here is the glove I love the color I'm obsessed with this color anyway but so good for tan because it doesn't get wrecked like some of the other ones um and then this headband for when you're doing your face tan here's the self tan mist for your face um so nice it's so clean looking I love the blue um and I love all this like I just love the vibes of it it's really nice and it's really just clean and nice um, and then they sent me the dark mousse I haven't got around to try this yet by the way but I will let you know when I do um, and then this is the medium self tan mist for your face so yeah thank you so much to vegan tan hey guys so it's now Saturday uh, what time is it? 5 to 12 um, I've got a car full of cardboard <laughs> most of it's in the boot um, from the wardrobes they came from Ikea and the guys that dropped it were lovely so helpful they carried everything in for me um, and commissary as well he did help but they literally were like no 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 I was like oh no it's fine I can take it because I just felt guilty even though like they clearly don't mind but I didn't know if they always carried them in or not especially because of Covid so I was like no no it's fine and then he handed me like two things and I could barely carry them and he was like it's fine so the two of them carried them in it was two minutes um, the they send you like a link they tell you the night the day before like they said it would be today between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. and then yesterday I got a text saying it would be between half 8 and half 12 and then this morning I got one telling me what hour it would be in and then you can follow along where they are on this thing and the time keeps changing it'll only change for like half an hour but it was good because we still got to go to the gym um, so they were a bit later so we went and then we were like we might only get half an hour done but then we ended up been absolutely fine yeah i'm absolutely sweating in the car now without a window open but i don't want to i don't want all the neighbors to hear me <laughs> but i think i'm gonna actually have to like um anyway yeah and it's absolutely grand i can't remember what i was saying at the end there but it's really good so um yeah oh yeah i was saying that we had like an hour until they actually got here it said like between half 10 and half 11 and then it changed and it went to like between 11 and 12 and now it's just two minutes to 12 and like we already have it all out of the cardboard and everything so it came I think like 20 to 12 maybe and um, so yeah I'm not even going to build that because I don't want to be there and um, but it looks so good I was worried it would be too tall but it's actually it's great that it's really tall because I can fit loads in it but it doesn't take up too much space except for like up towards the ceiling but the ceilings are like high enough in that room but they're not like high so I was like fuck if I ordered like one that's really really high because I didn't fucking measure it of course I knew that it would fit width wise I didn't think about the height but anyway yeah so that's grand <laughs> hopefully I'll have that actually can't put the um, knobs on the drawers as well so I just need to like hoover around them because there's like drill dust and then put some of the clothes back in and stuff and I'll show you them um, and hopefully the wardrobe is all done back so yeah I have to run now to the recycling centre it's only down the road thank god um, and yeah, I'll talk to you later. I'm boiling. Also, our shower stopped working. I could, I don't know if I told you, but it's not working. So I think an, elect an electrician is coming today or tomorrow. Um, he said. So yeah, but there's apparently a guy on our road that could do it because a girl that lives on our road told me. So I think I might message her back and see what she says because um, it would be great if he could do it. You know, it'd be much easier than this other guy. Um, but yeah, so I'll have to keep you updated. We have no shower. So well, the shower, like it lets a bit of water out, like maybe half the water it usually does. So it's pretty annoying and it's also freezing because the electricity isn't going through to heat it. So yeah, <laughs> it's cold. It's like when you don't switch the switch on and you turn it on, you know, and it's just shit. So like I can have a shower and I have to wash it. Like and it was okay the last two days because it was just a quick body shower. Um, but today I really have to wash my hair, so. I hope I can make it work. <laughs> we're going for lunch actually, outdoor dining with our friends and then reminding a godchild later on. Um, so yeah, that's it really for today. It's 
Saturday, I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah. I've done nearly 6,000 steps already, so I don't even know if I'll have to go for a walk. I have to do 13,000 steps and the gym. Anyway, we'll see. It'll be fun. I better get going. Did not expect you to do that tall. Hey guys, so it's now the next day because I'm just so, so good at vlogging. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh my god, there's so much reflection in these glasses. <laughs> They're blue light, so they look like yellow. It's weird. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's like, I think it's like two o'clock now. So I've just had lunch and um, recorded the pod with the pod with Megan before that and it was a really good one it was about like eating disorders and mental health kind of and um, I guess they kind of tie in together so yeah so yeah it was a different one <laughs> for us but um I feel like it was a really good one so um definitely give that a listen I always have our podcast linked in the description box if you're looking for it so yeah, now I'm gonna tackle sorting out this room. And then I am hopefully gonna be able to make enough space to set up my backdrop so that I can get some pictures of the new um, loud stuff while I've got makeup on, so I'm gonna fix that. And I would like to get a sheen haul recorded as well if I've got time, but yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, I haven't even done enough steps even though I went for a walk earlier. It was like less than an hour. So I've only got 8,000 steps done. And I prefer to do like my actual goal is like 15,000. But sometimes I'm like 10 to 12,000. Uh, and then sometimes like on a Sunday I'll do like fucking 1,000. <laughs> but like during the week I at least try to do that. But it's just hard. So like I'm already showered and all, I don't really want to go for a walk and then I feel gross if I don't have another shower afterwards even if I'm not that sweaty, like I just I just feel dirty. So yeah, I don't know, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, Con will be home from work in not that long so he can take pictures from me when he gets home. But yeah, that's it really, I'm just gonna sort this mess out and yeah, it's very fun, very exciting. My car is booked in for a service tomorrow actually, so that is in Black Rock. So that's in the morning, it's so early. I have to drop it off at like eight to half eight, like between that time. He said basically as early as I can, but before half eight. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, no, it's fine. Like I literally wake up at like half six, seven anyway, but it's just like thoughts of actually having, having to like leave the house and shit, but like it's fine by that time, but um, yeah, that's it really. It's actually quite nice out now, even though it's a bit cloudy, it looks really nice and sunny. So I'm like, hmm. Maybe if Con goes for a walk with me, like just a nice walk, not like a sprint walk. When I go by myself, I can't not sprint, so I'm always like sweating, but like I could do a nice chilled one, you know? I'd love to walk down and get an ice cream, but then that defeats my purpose of going for a walk. So <sighs> I won't do that, but weird I feel like my face looks different like I feel like my cheeks are just like doing weird stuff like that all the time I don't know what it is my face definitely looks different lately I'm very it's very very odd like even I mean Con took a selfie <laughs> the other day when we went for a walk because it was like a nice view and I just felt like my face looked really weird like really really wide like it looked I looked really really different like I didn't recognize myself I was like well, well I obviously did but like I just my face looked different it's very strange so I don't know so anyway I'll do this first and then I'll touch up my makeup don't worry I won't leave it like this <laughs> okay so this is the best I could do it's literally all just piled behind it got rid of a few bits of like packaging rubbish but that was about it like Everything else is just crammed in behind this, but what can I do? I hope it'll be okay. I'll fix this properly, don't you worry. I just had to steam it and it was so hot in here. Anyway, I'm ready, cons on the way home in my first outfit. I'm just gonna touch up my makeup now. Finished. We just ordered um, pizza as well. Really nice, and then I was talking about my last vlog. So nice, it's called La Los. It's either La Locandina or La Losandina. L O C. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce it, but 
Um, I nearly knocked that over. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna take off my makeup now so I'm comfy and relax for the evening. Feel a little bit today, but mostly just gonna do them sitting in front of the TV. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm very excited and I'm very, very hungry now as well. It is six o'clock on the dot, and it's safe to say I'm about to die of hunger. <laughs> I got these the other week in pennies. I showed them in my. Um, Penny saw that I uploaded the other day. They were literally 350. Uh, and this is them. They're so cute and I'm gonna hang them on the fence. I don't know where. They're not that long. Um but yeah, they're actually meant for indoor. They're like actual like indoors ones. Most of them are to be honest, because they've they've got like just battery packs. Um so if you just put them in a sandwich bag, then they're literally fine. Like water doesn't get in. So it's grand. I'm just gonna literally hang them. I'll show you when I'm done because I have to decide where. <laughs> I'm gonna just run up and get a little thumbtack for each side so that they don't blow away. So I'm gonna start sorting out my wardrobe. I literally can't go back far enough to show you it, I don't think. It's massive. Like, it's literally massive. <laughs> it goes up so high. I'm I'm delighted, though, because, like, you can fit so much. Um, it's kind of annoying for some of my stuff that are really long, but I definitely want the two rails because I may as well make the most of the space. You can get drawers and stuff, but rails are, like, five euro, and shelves are, like, a tenner. So I've just got two shelves, two rails. Um, to keep it cheap. You can also get drawers and stuff like that, but I think they're like 35 euro a drawer. You can get little baskets that are like 15 or something like that as well, but I'm obviously not gonna leave it like this. I was just fucking stuff in. I'm gonna leave all them up there because they're coats and stuff like that that I don't really wear at the moment. Um, and then I'm undecided on what else I'm gonna hang up. Probably some sweatshirts and stuff because my drawers are literally bursting at the seams of them. Um, I'm going to do, I think, a shelf of gym gear, depending on how I like if it fills it. And then I think I'm going to do um, the bottom shelf shoes, like ones that I don't wear that often and stuff like that maybe because I've got a lot of them and like I say, I don't know where to store them. So yeah, I also don't remember if I showed you, but we put the knobs on this um, and we got these ones for in the other room uh, like our bedroom and then I also don't know if I showed you what this was like before but it looked really stupid it was like just they like covered this weird vent that came out uh, so kind of with this one looks much neater we're gonna probably repaint this room at some stage anyway but for now it's okay and um, so yeah I'm just hanging up my loud stuff here at the moment I've just got the newest stuff out at the moment um, and yeah, I need to get this room organised well and truly, but we're definitely getting there, like the wardrobe is so nice, I'm so, so, so happy with it, like, it fits in perfectly. I'll show you the doors. Oh jeez, it's so tight in here. Because I need to sort out this corner as well, but that's all bags and shoes and stuff, so hopefully I will get them sorted, but yeah, that's what the doors are like. That light is also in the way. It's so annoying. Like, the light is over there instead of in the middle of the room. I think that it must have been, what we're pretty sure was the case is that the door into this room actually used to be there. And I don't know if it used to be what it used to be, but anyway, it's changed around now and that's probably why it's there. So we're gonna change that to like a, just a spotlight and then move that light I don't know, either just leave that or if it's easy, move that light over there, I don't know. I'm gonna ask my dad about it because he did it in my room at home. He'd put in like another light, so he might be able, but I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, I'm gonna get stuck into this. So first of all, I'm listening to this talking experience. I've literally only just started it, but I'm so excited to hear about it. Not excited, but you know what I mean. I love um, George's podcast and yeah, the guy 
literally at the start of it for the morning, like, no, I can't, you know, when you're like, mm. yeah, but anyway, I'm just going to paint this wardrobe the same colour as the wall. It's fuck it, Carl did all the painting in here though for a job. I think he's done, but I just think it will look nice. Thank you.